reflection principle. Suppose D is a domain such that it contains a segment of real axis and its lower half is a, is a reflection of its upper half in the real axis. And suppose that f of z is nothing but analytic entity, then f of z bar is equal to f of z bar that implies and implies means if and only if f of z, f of z is real on the point x on the segment on the real axis means let us suppose for example you take a x axis and the y axis okay now this is the region d there is a point here z1 there is a point here z1 bar there is a point here is z which is x plus i y this is a lower half plane so this lower half plane the point is the reflection of upper half plane means here x plus i y here will be x minus i y the reflection of this and the point is nothing but what are the point you are going to take on this that will have the uh, only the real real point means real uh, real point is means f of x equal to x you are going to have now this is how the reflection principle says now we need to prove this one now so okay so proof the proof is uh, like this now we will prove in the form of like this okay so first of all, uh, we'll take this statement as nothing but equation number one. Let us suppose, for example, the equation number one. The statement is like this. Now we'll try to prove. Now suppose, suppose f of z bar is equal to f of z bar. Now I'm taking as this as f of z bar is equal to f of z bar. Now uh, what is that f of z? That we'll 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 try to write. Write f of z is equal to some u plus iv f of z is u plus iv so f of z is u plus iv means u of x comma y plus iv of x comma y now if i write f of uh, z bar if i write i may write as this as u of x comma minus y plus iv of x comma minus y because z bar is nothing but x minus i y okay this is one term this is what we have now f of z bar z bar is nothing but u plus i v bar now this i may write as u minus i v means i may write as u of u of x comma y minus i v of x comma y so f of z bar is this and f of z is not f of uh, z bar is this f of z bar whole bar is nothing but this okay so after getting these all values uh, these all values uh, we'll try to see how to get the condition that f of uh, z is nothing but real okay let let l be a the segment l be the line segment contained in d now which is nothing but contained in d okay this is the line segment which is contained in d l be the line segment and for all z belongs to d now we are taking all the points which is nothing but z belongs to d okay so therefore Therefore, we have, we have means all the values which are contained in this line segments are nothing but real. So, I may, I may write it, that is equal to x. I may write that z equal to x. Okay. So, this is nothing but what? z is nothing but x plus i y actually. So, what you are going to have? z is equal to x comma 0 you will get. Okay. I may write as in a, in a proper order x comma y is nothing but equal to x comma 0 because x plus i y so only the real part will be there that is nothing but x comma 0 okay so therefore therefore what we can write is f of z is nothing but equal to f of z is equal to some f of x f of z is equal to f of x means f of z is equal to u of x comma 0 plus i v of i v of x comma 0 real real part will be there imaginary part will not be there okay but what we know here we know that f of z bar is nothing but equal to f of z bar okay so this is what z bar z bar means i may write as f of z bar is nothing but equal to f of x bar f of z bar is nothing but equal to f of x bar what is this now i may write this f of x is nothing but equal to f of x bar because z is nothing but what x comma 0 so i have written as x now x is this is f of x bar so this is u of x comma 0 plus i v of x comma 0 x bar is nothing but again x so you can say that uh, this is u of x comma 0 plus i v of x comma 0 but what about this whole bar 
this whole bar is nothing but u of x comma x comma y this is u of x comma y minus i v of x comma y because you will be getting as a conjugate here because uh, f of this is z so z is nothing but equal to x so u of x comma y minus i v of x comma y in the place of y i am write as 0 i am write as 0 here okay so these two will get cancelled then this one minus i this one you will be getting as v of x comma 0 2 i v of x comma equal to 0 if you take that side that becomes like this yeah. so that implies v of x comma 0 now what is that you got v of x comma 0 you got so therefore f of z is nothing but this everything is 0 so what you got ultimately f of z is nothing but equal to u of x comma 0 which is nothing but real you got as real part now this is how the f, uh, f of z is equal to u of x comma 0 we got then so therefore all the points which lie on the segment is nothing but real such that f of z can be taken as u of x comma 0 so therefore i may write as f of z is real on the segment f of z is real on the segment okay now assume what we have taken is uh, the first one what we have taken the equation one assume assume that one is true assume that one is true so therefore for all z belongs to z z belongs to d for all z belongs to d one is true so therefore what you have here is now to prove that to prove that f of z bar is nothing but equal to f of z bar for all z belongs to d now this is we need to prove f of z bar and whole bar now uh, I may write this as, or I may write this as f of z bar whole bar. Now I may write as f of z bar whole bar for all z belongs to d. Just taking bar on both sides. Now this is nothing but f of z bar. Uh, f of z bar whole bar is nothing but f of z. It is nothing but f of z bar whole bar for all z belongs to d. Okay, now this term I will take it as. I may take it as this as, uh, we will write that, we will write capital F of Z is equal to F of Z bar whole bar. I may, I may write as capital, this is how we got, but I am taking this as capital F of Z. That is F of Z bar and the whole bar. Okay, now we will try to prove this, we will try to find out the value of this. So capital F of Z is nothing but equal to, so what is this now Z bar means? And write as u of x comma minus y plus i v of x comma minus y. Z bar means x minus i y. This is. So therefore, again, this is bar. The you may get as u of x comma y minus i v of x comma minus y. See, f of z bar is what? f of z bar is nothing but f of x x minus i y. Okay. So this is nothing but u of x comma minus y plus i v of x comma minus y okay so this value we have used here u of x comma minus y i v of x comma minus y this is what we have used okay so therefore what this is what we got but what is f of z now i will take it f of z as u of capital u of x comma y plus capital v of x comma y i have taken capital u of x comma y capital v of x comma y now this is how we, we are going to equate even though we have taken these two but we will take this capital F of Z in the form of like this then then what we are going to write here is we will try to write in the form of like this okay uh, we will try to make that even in the form of like this so first we will take this one this one F of Z bar gold bar is equal to this no so we will try to write that okay now by equate this one, we will equate u of x comma y is nothing but equal to u of x comma minus y. Okay, this is equating on real and real part and imaginary, it will imaginary part. Capital V of x comma y is equal to, this is minus V of x comma minus y. Now we will differentiate this one. We will differentiate with respect to x as well as with respect to y. So this is ux is equal to. We are writing as we are differentiating. Anyhow, this is small u x and u y equal to. I am just differentiating with respect to y. So before that u y uh, before that uh, differentiation, I'll take that. 
and I'll take that this minus y. I'll take minus y is equal to t. I'm just writing minus y is equal to t. Okay, such that now I'll differentiate this one with respect to y. So if I differentiate this one with respect to y, then what is going to happen? I'll write here. I'll write, I'll write minus y is equal to t. Okay, now I'm differentiating with respect to y. So therefore, u y is equal to u y is equal to do u by do y. Okay, do u by do y into do t by. Okay, I'm gonna write this as do u by uh, do t by do t by do y. I'm gonna write this as do t. First of all, I'll write like this: do u by do u of x comma minus y. Do u of x comma minus y by do y. Okay, this I'm gonna write in the form of like this. This I'm gonna write do u by do t into do t by do y. Okay. Now this what you are going to have. This is I am I am just differentiating in the form of like this because y is that minus y is that much equal to t. So this is u t into do do t by do y. With respect to y, you are going to differentiate. You will be getting as minus one. So this is minus u t. Now what you got? U y is equal to minus u t in the same manner. In the same manner here also. So with respect to x, you are going to differentiate. So I may write this as capital X capital V X is equal to minus V X because minus this one. And the capital V Y is equal to capital V Y is equal to. This is already minus is there minus and this also minus is there. So you may get as you may get as minus V Y. So you will be getting as small small V Y. You may get as small v y. Or I may write this as uh, I may write this as uh, you you can write this as I may write as do minus do v by do y into x comma minus y. This is again minus do v by do t into do t by do y. Okay, for our understanding sake. Now this is minus do v t. Into minus one, so this is minus. Ah, uh, sorry, this is plus v t. This is plus v t. In the same manner, we have differentiated. So what we got? V y is equal to v t. You got. Okay. Since 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 f of z is f of z is nothing but analytic. F of z is analytic. Analytic. We have we have u x. U T V X V T R R continuous R continuous. These are nothing but R exist and continuous. You can write that it is there exist exist and and continuous exist and continuous. So therefore, what you have going to write here is according to the C R equations, we may write as U X equal to I am writing as u x is equal to u x is equal to v y. So v y in the place of v y we have v t. These are small and u y equal to u y means u t is equal to minus v x. This is v x. Okay, u t is equal to minus x because f of z is hundred. Now this is f of z is this. Now we are going to compare all the values. But what is u x? U x is nothing but what capital u x. So I may write this as in the form of like this. Now, what are the values we got that we are going to uh, uh, we are going to equate? Okay, so u x equal to u x. So, what u x equal to what? V t. So, I'll write as u capital u x is equal to. So, this value is nothing but equal to v t. Okay, this value is nothing but small v t. Okay, but what is v t? V t is equal to v y. So, I may write as this is capital capital v y i am writing as this as capital v y so that is finished then and 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 uh, you can see another one u t is equal to minus v x what is u t u t is nothing but equal to minus u y so i may write as minus u y is equal to minus v x but what is v x v x is nothing but v y so i may write as capital v y by capital v x so this may be equal to 
u y equal to minus v x. Now what you got? U x equal to v y. U y equal to minus v x. So therefore, what you got here is you got as u x is equal to v y and capital v y and u y equal to minus capital v x. This is capital v x. So therefore, capital f of z is also analytic. So I may write as capital f of z is analytic. Now what you have finished, we have proved that capital f of z is analytic. Means indirectly, what we have proved that f of z bar and the whole whole bar is analytic. This is also analytic. We have proved. Okay. So when this is proved, now we are going to prove the uh, it is real on the real axis. Okay. It is real on the real axis. So therefore, thus. Thus, that is that holds for holds for f of z and capital f of z. Okay, are are analytic on the both are analytic. We have proved this also. We have proved analytic and this also. We have proved analytic. Now, now for uh, let let z belongs to L. Z is nothing but a point which is nothing but on the line segment L. Okay. So th that implies we know that z is nothing but equal to x because since l is real, now what we have is l is real. So f of z is nothing but equal to f of x, which is nothing but equal to u of x comma zero plus y v of x comma zero. Now this is we got. So but from one, from one, f of z is real. What we have to prove? F of z is on the on the real segment f of z is on the a real segment okay so therefore what we got what we got that implies that implies what we can say v of x comma 0 is nothing but equal to 0 that already we have proved v of x comma is equal 0 equal to 0 we have already proved so therefore capital f of z is nothing but equal to f of x is nothing but equal to u of x comma 0 plus minus I may write as uh, this as uh, f of x, and I may write as this as plus if uh, f of z is equal to f of x. So I may write this as f i into v of x comma zero. This is anyhow zero. So we will be getting as u of x comma zero. Okay. So f of z is equal to f of x equal to again. You got as a real. So therefore f is equal to f on real axis L. Okay, so therefore, therefore, f of z is nothing but equal to f of x, f of x for all z belongs to D. For all z belongs to D, it is nothing but real. Okay, so real axis we got as u of x comma zero is nothing but equal to this is nothing but equal to zero. F of z is nothing but this. Now we got as in the form of uh, f belongs to f is nothing but equal to f. Therefore. Uh, means the value which you are going to take real of uh, f of z that will be equal to the real of capital f of z. So therefore, f of z is equal to f of x for all z belongs to D. Now this is how what we have proved is we have proved that if you take any any point here that will be the reflection of the in the lower half plane and the point which is there on the uh, real uh, segment it will be always real that we have proved. So this is how the reflection principle stands. Okay, thank you.